have two directives. <laughs> so the first one is, and I say that again and again, and you might have heard that a few times, but maybe uh, not really recognized it because that's the most simple thing this in, in, this, in, in this entire dynamics. And this reminder is the hardest one to implement. And that is just the slower you go, the more you will feel. Yeah. So this is, and why that is with self-love is because when you go really slow, the impulses from your um, cerebellum um, to um, inhibit these uh, signals to your feeling center is literally not happening. So the faster you go, this impulse from your cerebellum is inhibiting the um, uh, impulses that are being sent to your sensory center. Yeah. So that you're not getting overwhelmed when you, if you would feel that much in your hands as if you're going slow, <laughs> you pop. So therefore, the slower you go, the more you will feel. And to kind of amp up that little formula is slow down by half and slow down by half again. Yeah. And this is kind of an, like a formula. Slow down by half, slow down by half again. Go really slowly. The slower you go, the more you will feel. And this is pretty much true in every kind of dynamics. So now when you see back to your um, Ayurvedic massage therapist who found now this way of touch where you feel this bond, family connection, is literally this entire oxytocin dynamic that is being released. What is creating on an emotional, physical level a bond? Yeah, what is literally the same emotional physical dynamic like you know early child imprints having the bond with the caregiver with mother but it's the same way of touch but we put that then in this category of family and and uh, and belonging and oxytocin is a laugh is the laugh hormone a you know, neurotransmitter for home a hormone for laugh and connection so so the second prompt <laughs> the second attempt when you talk about your um, massage therapist, so, so the, the the way of touch, and that's the kind of deep therapeutic touch that I, that I teach when I'm in my trainings, is that the specific um, speed of movement and pressure in combination, so 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 movement and pressure in combination with speed allows you to um, combine two ways of touch. So, so, so the pleasant one and the deep tissue one, so the muscle one. Yeah. So, so this too, so having the, the, the soft enough way of feeling it, but having the grip, the depth of it. And the, you know, if I could give you a formula, have five centimeters per second <laughs> with a pressure of uh, three, <laughs> Pascal, I don't know, you know, there is no, there is no formula. You have to figure it out because it's different between different people. Yeah. So what I would, um, as an, as a training field, and this is where I would like to guide you in as a training field in relationship with your wife, and 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 she would probably really love it, is that. You know, when, when you opening up this field, and this is what I've seen many practitioners do, you know, when they touch you and you opening up this, just like you start crying and you have this emotional release, what is happening, and I, I think I talked about that probably half a year ago or something, or a year ago, but I, I remember I talked that, about that briefly. You know, when you're getting focused with your attention on the stimuli in your in your fingers, in your body, in your, in your senses, you literally, in your action for yourself, and you are in the direct route of pleasure. Yeah? And this is the main focus here. But when you do that, and when you feel yourself fully, and when you have full access to that, and you use intentionally the indirect route of pleasure. So what happens when you only focus on your sensation, it's just like the funnel closes at the end. But when you 
um, opening up the funnel on the other side for indirect pleasure. So the funnel opens up in this direction to the other person's experience. Yeah, so I just only have two hands, but <laughs> so, so here you go in and here on the other side you go out. So when you in the middle of this experience have your attention on your experience and opening up on the other side, you can literally, and this is where this permission piece comes in, you have an emotional, physical influence in the other person's experience. Most people don't know that intentionally because it just happens fluidly. So this is what you, and, and this is just a question if you would like to try that. And, and, and with, with, with your wife, and when you, for example, say, hey, I would like to try, try something that Matt or uh, asked me or that the massage therapy did. Can I for 15 minutes just massage your feet? And you ask intentionally, can I massage your feet in your most beautiful way you like that? For no other reason. No, there's no sexuality involved. There's nothing. Just like... 15 minutes, you know, or 10 minutes each foot or both at the same time. And, and you actually feel yourself up with your hands, but tuning in her emotional landscape at the same time. Reaching her on her deepest emotional parts without wanting anything from her. Just like as if you're doing a deep honoring visit in somebody else's garden. So, for example, when, when I do the de trainings and, you know, we're doing a lot of genital touch, you know, this is, um, so, so some practitioners uh, uh, think just like when, when you say, um, may I touch your genitals, then the person's genitals being touched, just like, yeah, of course, so you touch my genitals for yourself. And yeah, this is what I do. I just, I want to touch your genitals because I love touching genitals. But I'm not doing it from a selfish perspective. I'm doing it because I want to be a visitor, an honored, welcome visitor in your garden. And I just want to acknowledge the flowers and the, everything that is growing there in its beauty. So, so from the mirror neurons, from a place of empathy, you start feeling what the other person feels. And then you need to be careful here. And this is where I've seen the pitfalls. The pitfalls are when you start feeling what the other person feels and you start to tap into their stratosphere of manipulating that or forcing it or pushing it or doing something that you want to have as a response. It's more like a following what's happening anyway and you are with it from an empathetic place instead of trying to make it happen and put it on your, yeah, I can do good stuff. So I will be with, so I'm doing it for myself and I will entering your space, but I will be with you without being invasive or having an agenda. And whenever I'm getting lost in your space and I'm losing myself here or I'm too much just with you and I'm losing myself, then I'm coming back to this funnel point to this, focus attention point of feeling myself and then i just like be invited back in yeah so it's just, it's just like the on the other side when you in this funnel when when they're feeling held and witnessed and acknowledged and there is literally an, an invitation happening on the other side that pulls you in that you can nearly follow in a way it's it's a fantastic way of of um, a building physical relationship in this in this in this realm, it's absolutely fantastic. But it needs the practice, so you need to get your hands on, in the best case, your wife. <laughs>